and welcome back to my channel. It feels like it's been forever since I've been settled at home filming with you guys, even though it hasn't, but it has. I'm so glad you guys are here. Thank you for coming back. If you are new here on this channel, we talk about fashion, beauty, personal style, lifestyle, and a little bit of travel when I can. I'm an expat living in London, so there's usually quite a bit of content about my life adjusting from one continent to the next. Please consider subscribing, and like you can see in today's title, we are doing a Zara haul. I love doing Zara hauls. It's a favorite of mine. You guys also love it too. So many things come out in Zara all the time and some are good, some are amazing, and some are worth passing on. And I love picking pieces and helping you guys decide what to invest in for the season, what is going to carry through to the next season, and what you'll have in your closet forever. So I've got quite a bit of pieces today and I'm excited to go through them. As usual, for those of my returning subscribers, you know that we talk about the pieces here and then I will always insert videos or pictures of me styling the outfit with pieces that I have in my closet already. So without further ado, if you wanna see my recent Zara haul, then please keep watching. Now, of course, before we get started, we gotta go through my fit. So this is an old H&M Studio blouse. So normally it was twice a year. I don't know if it's still twice a year because obviously COVID. H&M will release an H&M H&M Studio Collection. This is by far the best thing that H&M has ever done. Like other than their designer collabs, which I actually don't really care for those much, the H&M Studio is incredible. It's very, very limited run. Pieces guaranteed to be sold out on the first day and further than that within the first week. So if you are big on it, you already know you have to get your sizes on the day of or you're not gonna get anything. I love it. It is by far the best quality H&M stuff, the most creative, fashion forward, trend pieces at amazing, amazing price points, but also trend pieces that are gonna be in your closet for a long, long time. For those of you that follow me on Instagram, and if you don't, you should, at Chantel Russo, my silver sequin skirt that anytime I post it on the feed, I get a ton of questions and a ton of love. That is another H&M Studio piece. I love, love, love H&M Studio. So this one's an old one from, I think, fall, winter 2019. Had it for a while. I definitely don't wear it enough. I'm obsessed. These babies are from my online shop, simplysendy.com. These are the Coco earrings, obviously inspired by the iconic chain link Coco Chanel bag. I love these. They are still on sale on the shop. If you go under accessories, a little bit of weight, but not too heavy on your earlobes. I hate that. And they just give like such an iconic classic look. Love. Anyways, that's my look for today. Let's get into to the Zara haul. Okay, so I purchased a lot of these things kind of sporadically. Some I purchased as soon as I got back from London from traveling. And then I think I have a few pieces that I purchased in the US, but all of them are new season Zara and should be available online, if not in store. So definitely check both if you're interested in any of the pieces I mentioned today. This one is a beautiful tweed blazer. Obviously this color and blues, if you haven't noticed, are hot, hot, hot this season. Blues pinks, yellows, purples, all of the colors. I honestly think it's the way trends go. We've been inside for a year, so naturally we're all getting out a bit more and what we wanna do is show off, show out, so naturally, bold colors have definitely come back in a major way. This blazer I think is so, so cute. To be honest, I'm not a huge fan of these buttons. It's actually one thing that I think Zara misses the mark on a lot with their blazers. Sometimes they get it right, but a lot of times they don't. And I actually think these buttons look so cheap. I will definitely have to find other buttons to replace it. If I decide to keep it, I'm not quite sure. But I got this in an extra small, which I'm starting to realize that their blazers have changed in sizing. I used to always get a small. Now all of a sudden I'm dropping to an extra small, which is fine, no big deal, as long as it's offered. Really, really cute though. Here you can see that I have it styled with distressed denim, which is also from Zara. It's a new Zara piece as well. I am obsessed with these jeans. So I'll be honest, since I moved to Europe, I kind of gave up on ripped jeans. Like I just don't love them as much as I used to. I feel like jeans without rips are just a little bit more elegant. Well, a lot more elegant and a little bit more classy. And I just prefer it. But these I absolutely made an exception for. Obviously like a slouchy, baggy denim is more casual. It's also a lighter denim, which is usually more casual as well. And I just love the way it looks. Like I think it looks 
so clean and fashion forward and trendy and just sleek and like who's that like i i just i saw them and i was like eh, let me try them on and see how i like them love the way they fit the blue like the wash is perfect i just really 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 like them i've already washed them a million times like obsessed with these jeans they fit really well now it's not a perfect perfect fit between like butt thigh and waist but it's Zara, so you know, you do what you can. But really, really love it. Super comfortable. I got mine in a US size 4, Europe 36, which is my standard, standard size. So I didn't have to size up or size down, which was nice. And obviously the rips get more and more large when you wear them, but I love it. You know, even if I start to hate ripped jeans in a few seasons, I can take these jeans and I can turn them into shorts or I could donate them. But to be honest, I feel like this pair will stay in my wardrobe. It's the only pair of jeans that I really have like this. And I even like this, you know, if you are going to the beach or you're at the pool and you just want to slip something on over your full piece swimsuit because you want to go have lunch or anything like this is the perfect thing to do that you can wear it with flip-flops be super cash wear it with heels just such a unique I don't know it just really does it for me love these and can't wait to wear more of them this summer okay so next I have two pieces that I for sure am returning I just don't like them to be honest so these sandals these come in this cream color black and a, like a, a tan brown I think for these I just got the wrong size so I normally in flats loafers anything like that I usually size up to a 40 but for some reason these just feel really really big on my feet essentially these are like a sandal style Style, very similar to the Hermes Oran and the YSL. I don't remember the YSL names at the moment. But what I liked about these is these are rubber. So these are just a classier version of flip-flops, which is why I wanted them. So I'm probably going to buy them in the black, try them on in the 39 and see how I feel if I like them more on my feet. But these are a no. I also picked up this dress. It's cute. It's perfectly on trend with the straps and the tie around the bare waist. The only thing really is that I'm just not going to get a lot of use out of it. I definitely picked it up because it was in red and I'm so drawn to the color red. It's hard to find nice on trend pieces in red because I just don't think it's that popular with a lot of people. But obviously I love it. I'm like red's number one fan. But these kind of dresses, especially from Zara, because I've learned the hard way after you wash them a few times, it's going to start to fade. And a dress like that has to be vivid and has to stay like rich in color. Otherwise, it just looks really cheap cheap because it's 100 percent cotton and it's just like a very rough type of cotton it's not like a slinky elegant type of cotton so it's just a no-go i'm not going to get a lot of use out of it it's going to look like crap after a few washes and then i'm just going to be annoyed that i have it in general so both of those are being returned speaking of red i got these like leggings stirrups okay so they're like a hybrid between leggings and gym pants because they're very spandexy they look like gym pants but obviously you could totally wear these out so i'm just unsure if i'm gonna keep these i really really like them i have them styled here with a white crew neck that's from store it and just like my yeezys and my kingston frames from simply sam b like i love this look i love it for like a sunday brunch or like running errands going to the mall things like that i just feel like it's irresponsible but they weren't expensive they were only 20 pounds and i could totally wear these out and also while i'm working out i'm just gonna keep them because i love red and it's hard to get stuff like this that i actually enjoy the stirrup is so cute and it's very like wide and large anyways when i put this out outfit together i feel like that's what kind of sold it for me super super cute and it's definitely that kind of vibe of like i just went to work out and i'm running errands but I, it's much cuter and more elevated than just your average like black lululemon legging you know what i mean so next up is this beautiful like tie dye with like a deep teal and like a gold color gorgeous 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 i only bought this to wear it as a top scarf tops are so hot right now and actually i feel like zara is the one that's really pushing this trend like every time i see a girl in a scarf top i mean if she's got really really small boobs then it's probably a scarf that she owns and she's got like a necklace with it but 
if it's like an actual large scarf, it's always Zara. Like Zara is killing it with these scarves, which they come out with every year. They're usually a hybrid between linen and cotton. This one's 54% viscose and 46% linen. So that's the thing with Zara scarves is you can always get a high amount of linen in it, which is really nice. Obviously these are great for travel. They're great for anything, wrapping your hair, covering you when you're cold. It's the summer scarf, that's what it's for. This is nice because it's thick enough, dense enough, and loose enough to be tied around my neck and around my back, hold up my boobs, and look cute at the same time. So I have them here paired with the Zara jeans that I'm obsessed with and my Linda Farrow and the Attico collab aviators. Love, love, love this scarf. I already bought another scarf from Zara in like this pure linen, like natural color. Guys, I tried it on. Side note, Zara fitting rooms are finally open again. They are in London, so I'm hoping that they are everywhere else, thank God. And guys, it looks so good. Like with a pair of clean white trousers, you are stopping traffic. The first warm day that we get in London for outdoor dining, I'm gonna wear this with white trousers and either a natural heel, a white heel, both low heels, or my gold loafers from and other stories. Not sure, but totally wearing this. Amazing, love, 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 love. And if you're wondering like, you know, I've got pretty big boobs and obviously like I'm deep colored, nothing shows through. You wrap it perfectly, tie it at the back. And if you can do, if you don't like the straps kind of just like hanging low, you can always tuck them in the sides. It's just so chic and it's f finally something that us bigger chested girls can enjoy backless because I swear I would never wear backless and it's because like I always like wearing a bra. It's just such a bad thing about having big boobs. If you have a bigger chest or you never wear backless because your boobs, comment down below because I know you feel me. You are my people. We're in this together. So next up are these pink little shorts. So this was inspired by the pink shorts that were huge from Jacques Mousse. It's the same idea, wearing like short shorts, spankies, underneath something really large, and kind of having that look. The only thing that I struggle with these shorts is like, I just don't know how practical that look is because I don't really wear short shorts like that. And I tried this on with a linen top and I it just didn't work at all and I don't know if because like maybe at the leg it's a little bit flared out which gives you a little bit more room to breathe but they're still short shorts so here I have them styled with my oversized crew neck from Storitz again with my Kingston frames and my Yeezys. I really like this as like a summer errand in the mornings in the summer well now too but especially in the summer I love to go on long walks and it's warm but it's not too warm. I kind of like this as one of those things but you know, is it something that you necessarily need to buy? Is it so on trend? Are you gonna love this for years and years? Probably not, but they're cute and I think they're fun and I think they add like a nice pop of print underneath like an otherwise very clean outfit like how I have it styled here. Can you guys hear that? I'm sorry, this is London and of course it's raining. Okay, so next up is this gorgeous pink satin mini skirt with a curved hem. Now, I really like the way this skirt fits. I got a small, it does come in extra small. What's nice is Zara obviously prints what sizes each piece comes in. So it does come in an extra small and it also comes in an extra large. I really, really like this. At the time that I bought it, this style was only in this color. And I recently saw that they have it in a Kelly green, like a jewel tone green. And I was a bit annoyed because had I seen both of them in store at the same time, I would have picked the green over the pink. But anyways, I have it styled here with an old H&M pink crop that I have for a monochrome look. What I love about this skirt, especially when I saw the green, is it reminds me of that outfit of Sex and the City when Carrie is, she just leaves a date and she's got the white button down tucked into the green, the jewel green Kelly green skirt. And she's got the like crinoline, the ruffles in white at the back. Like I almost want to buy the green one and put ruffles at the back just like it because I love that outfit. I always thought she looked adorable. Her legs look incredible. I really like this. I would have preferred the Kelly green. I don't know if I really wanna have too many skirts in the same style 
in different colors. Really, really nice, flattering, fits nice. I also feel like it comes in and then goes out. So for those that have like larger thighs, a bit of a bum, larger hips, definitely try this on because I feel like it can work as opposed to it being like very, very straight for no one with those attributes. I feel like Zara gave like more of a generous cut with this one. So definitely try it on if you are in the market for a hot, hot, hot mini skirt. Next up is this bodysuit, knit bodysuit. First things first is this is definitely inspired by Christopher Esber. I feel like he was the first to do this kind of cut out button thing. He also does a really good space knit. So this is definitely where Zara got this idea from, no doubt. Unfortunately, it's not a thong bodysuit, which I honestly don't know why like wholesalers and brands like make bodysuits that are not thong like I guess maybe like some people are not comfortable with that but I just feel like it's so much easier for most people but anyways love it it's got a really nice square neck so very flattering the only thing that I don't love about this is where the buttons are placed so here I have it styled with an old pair of trousers from Aritzia it's a printed pair and this type of sage pistachio is actually one of the colors inside so I felt like it really worked well together the only thing is that because of where high waisted pants fit and then where they sit where the buttons sit it's like very close so it, it sometimes visually it might look a bit off because I tried it with jeans and I didn't love it as much it's a really really cute knit bodysuit especially in this color like this is nice for transitional weather I don't know where you live but for me it's still cold outside like I said it's raining so these kind of things come in handy when you want to look cute and also stay super cozy more green yeah more green guys what can i say green sage pistachio kelly green i like to call it money green is super on trend like you can't go anywhere and not find it this is another one from zara this is cut similar to the pink one that i showed you but a little bit more hourglassy it also comes up in the front you can see i love this style cut of skirt i have a blue one from and other stories the most flattering thing ever now this isn't quite as flattering as that but still really really nice green tweed really really cute very I mean you look at the skirt and you know it's from Zara again I'm not a huge fan of these buttons like for those that shop at Zara like do you guys ever care about the buttons do you ever notice that you're not a big fan of them or do you just completely you don't even notice them but comment down below and let me know maybe I'm being crazy really really cute I think this with a simple white tee or a white muscle tee and like white barely their heels so so cute for the summer or a good spring if you're lucky with a cute little handbag sitting on a patio having a glass of rosé i mean look at you you're a superstar gorgeous 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 and the nice thing about this shade of green it looks so good on brown skin so flattering i hope that the weather is nice to me this season so i can wear more mini skirts because I have a few and I want to buy more because I want to show my legs off. I'm not 22 anymore. I'm not going to wear, you know, mini skirts when it's freezing. Yep. Another blazer. I know. I know. I know. It's like so basic. I have so many blazers. I can stare at like 20 of them right now. I have more in Toronto and I think I have a few in storage. Like it's actually insane. But blazers are the thing I love the most. I think because... A good quality blazer just hits different like it feels different there's so many ways to make a blazer there's so many textures and colors and finishes and lapels and linings and it is an incredible piece of fashion and I just I'm always blown away and I'm always impressed and there's always something different about this one that's not in this one and I love them love them love them also like when I was a kid my style icons were teachers because they were like partially authoritative and then they also used to dress really nice my second grade teacher used to dress like she was on the cast of like Dallas Dynasty she was always in like these power suits like she looked amazing that was always a vibe and most teachers wore jackets they were blazers anyways love this blazer I love the color it is just the perfect blue it's like a deep cornflower blue it's not too light it's not cobalt blue it's the perfect like medium blue I love it so much the shoulders are nice. It's 
kind of cinched in on the waist to give a slight hourglass look. I don't mind the buttons. I don't hate them. I paired this with a blue silk satin dress maxi for a monochrome look. You guys went crazy for it on Instagram with barely there gold heels from Official by Dose, which is a black owned brand. I love this blazer so much. I've worn it a million times already. I can't wait to just kill it more and more and more throughout this spring summer season. And finally, I got this this little purple tie-dye tank like you're probably looking at me like why would you buy that like why would you go in Zara and pick this up and I'm with you I was definitely feeling trigger happy but honestly I thought that this was cute for the jeans that I showed you, like really baggy jeans that are cinched in the waist. I have a pair of vintage white Levi's that are really cute as well. They're like the same frame, so cinched in a little bit at the waist and loose throughout the butt and the thigh. And I thought these would be adorable with that for the spring summer season. This is also really, really nice underneath a blazer. So that's how I have it styled here underneath a old teal blazer that I got from Zara that was like a random Zara sale find back in the day and I just feel like it's cute and it's fun and it's pop a color and it's like I'm sitting here in London having a glass of rosé with my friends and I'm here I'm comfortable but you know I'm in color and I just I love that like I love the idea of taking standard pieces that everyone wears and silhouettes that are super flattering on most people but standing out a little bit more by changing the color or changing the shade of it that's kind of what this gave me and it's a subtle purple and a subtle tie-dye it's nothing too aggressive and I feel like even this underneath a white blazer white trousers and like a barely there white heel it just judges the outfit up in a different way I really really like this I can go no bra or I can go strapless and it's super super cute I might bring it to my tailor just to bring up the straps a little bit so it can be slightly higher but super super cute and if you're like me and you want it it's new season Zara and it comes in small medium and large okay last but certainly not least are these gorgeous earrings. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous earrings. These are definitely giving me like in living single, I'm a 90s kind of girl living in a 90s kind of world, but in a very modern, tasteful way. I love, 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 love these earrings. Let me try these on for you guys so you can see the glory up close. So cute, right? So large earrings don't always suit my face really well. And I took a risk buying these obviously because you can't try them on. And you, the most you can do is hold up that little plastic thing to your head and see if you like it. But I just thought the shape was really unique but also like super classic and something I'd like for a long time and something that I could see me wearing with my hair down, but also like my hair up or back in a messy bun. So what do you guys think? I really, really like them. I've actually been wearing them quite a bit lately. Try and get a little bit closer. You guys can see the finish. They're completely empty. Just like literally like the letter C in like a like ridgy gold. So it's not like too strong or too yellowy. It's like a really soft, almost like they want to make it like a brown gold really really like these I got these in London so they're definitely new season check them out online or of course in your nearest Zara okay so that's everything that is today's Zara haul spoiler alert I will definitely have another one for you coming very soon because I ordered a few pieces and I'm waiting for them to arrive so I'll definitely share that with you guys as soon as they get in I know it's insane I hope you like this video tell me what your favorite look was down below or your favorite piece have you went to Zara lately? What have you purchased? Let me know. There's so many different things in different stores, so sometimes it's hard to stay on top of stock. If there's anything cute or hot that you think I would like or that I'm missing in my wardrobe, definitely tell me. If you're not following me on Instagram, you should because that gets updated daily, at Chantel Russo. You can definitely find me on TikTok as well. I'm working on getting my TikTok levels better and getting that game up. These Gen Zs are smoking me, but I'm working on it. If you haven't checked out my online shop, Simply smd.com we recently had our spring launch super super exciting congrats to those who got pieces already you can see what is available at simply smd.com i think that's everything this rain is getting harder and harder but until the next one guys take care of yourselves and take care of each other i love you and i'll talk to you soon bye